2014 commencement ceremony for our Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. Will you please stand for the posting of the colors by the members of our ROTC program, the singing of the national anthem, and the meditation by Dr. Frederick Sherrod, pastor of Springer Street African Methodist Episcopal Church in Dothan, Alabama. We will ask men to please remove your hats and or your mortarboards. Thanking you, Lord, for allowing us to assemble in this place of higher education. The place called Alabama A&M A A University. Now, Lord, we ask that you touch the trustees, the president of this great university, the faculty and staff and all who make up this great university. But then, Lord, we ask that you be with the graduates, those who have made it this far by faith, uh, the ones with honors, the summa cum laude, the magna cum laude, and the cum laude, and even those who just want to say thank you, Lord. And so, Lord, we ask that you empower these parents and loved ones who have come to see them finally make it to this point. Then, God, we ask that you continue to bless each and every uh, representative that's in this place. Empower the speaker. Touch his heart, his mind, his soul, and his spirit. Drop him off into your storehouse of mercy. Empower him so that he might encourage these graduates. And then, when we can no longer witness about the goodness of who you are, we ask that you give us a place where we, every day is the Sabbath, and the Sabbath shall have no end. This is the prayer that we ask in the matchless and mighty name of he who made us. And all of the hearts in this place said, amen. You may be seated. Greetings on behalf of our Board of Trustees will be given by Trustee Andre Taylor, President Pro Tem of the Board of Trustees of Alabama A&M University. Trustee Taylor. 
Good morning. It is my honor to bring you greetings from the Board of Trustees of Alabama a and University. First, I would like to ask some of my fellow trustees who are here today to please stand. On behalf of these trustees and those who are not in attendance, it is my honor and privilege to bring you these greetings. I would like to start by giving you one of my favorite quotes. And it says, who people say you are is your reputation. Who you say you are is your character. Who you say you want to become is your ideal. I share that with the graduates today because today marks a point in time when through the content of your character, you have achieved an ideal and earned the reputation of a graduate of the Alabama A&M University. So the greeting I bring you today from the Board of Trustees is simply this. We take pride in your pride for having earned that reputation as a graduate of Alabama A&M University. Thank you, Trustee Taylor. Now let us please stand together. We'll be led in the singing of Lift Every Voice and Sing by our choir under the direction of Dr. Horace Carney. The words of Lift Every Voice and Sing you will find in your programs.
the essence of destiny. Watch your thoughts, for they become words. Choose your words, for they become actions. Understand your actions, for they become habits. Study your habits, for they will become your character. Develop your character, for it becomes your destiny. Members of our Board of Trustees and distinguished Deus guests, alumni, faculty, administrators, staff, students, but especially to our graduates. Unfortunately, this morning our speaker is not with us, Mr. Rucker. But I do, as president of this university, want to share a few comments with our graduates as they leave the hallowed walls of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. The marketing slogan for the university is start here and go anywhere. That truly is a rallying point for all of us here at the university. I'm certain that in your studies here, you've had the occasion to take different kinds of tests. Those test questions may have been multiple choice, they have been true or false, or in fact, they may be filling in the blank. But as you leave Alabama Agricultural Mechanical University, there is another test that you will take, and that test is called life. And it will be your responsibility from this point on to fill in the blanks for life. And so I want to share briefly an acrostic with you about life. The first letter in life is L. It begins with loving yourself. You need to love yourself and believe in yourself. You do that through something we call self-esteem. Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer that ever lived, you often heard him exclaim, I am the greatest. But he says to be a champion, you must first believe that you can be a champion. If not, just pretend that you are. You must believe in yourself. But just as there is belief, there's also disbelief. The movie Pursuit of Happiness, in that movie a comment is made by Will Smith who plays Christopher Gardner. And what he says is you've got a dream, but you've got to protect that dream. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you what you can't do. If you can't do something, if you want to do it, period, then don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it. So the first important ingredient of life is to love yourself and believe in yourself. The next letter in life is I. I stands for individual responsibility. You are ultimately in charge of your life. It does not matter the training you've received here at Alabama a University. It does not matter what your parents may have done. In this life, this journey we call life, we do not allow substitute runners. You must take ownership for your personal responsibility, that is, your life. I think it is summed up best in the poem by William Henley. And he says, Invictus, in the final verse, it says, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I, important, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I is the most important word that you will find in the English language because your success or your failure begins with the letter I. Even in the Bible, it emphasizes I, that I can do all things through Christ. So do not blame others for your shortcomings. Take on full responsibility for yourself. The next letter I represents imagination to imagine, to create, to envision that great future. Our president, Robert F. Kennedy, once said it this way, some men see things as they are and say why. 
I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? So graduates, I say to you, you're living in an age where you can envision things that have never occurred. We can see the realization of that all around us in modern conveniences such as the microwave, the cell phone. But I say to you graduates, that is not the end. The greatest poem has yet to be written. The fastest computer has yet to be invented. The cure for cancer and AIDS has yet to be found. Racism is still alive and well. Children still lack the basic necessities of life. Our educational system is still un underfunded. So as Robert Foss would tell us, we do have miles to go before we sleep. But I also stand for integrity. It's important as we accomplish in life that we remember who we are and whose we are. The next letter F. F stands for faith. Faith comes from believing in a higher power. It is complete confidence and belief that there is somebody bigger than you and I who are in control of our circumstances. Faith lets us hope for things and believe in those things even before we see them. You will need faith in your life. In the book, Adversity Quotient, it talks about the secret to success. And it simply says this, that it is not so important always your IQ, that is your spotness, but often it is more important your AQ, that is your adversity quotient, that leads to success. And so I say to you, have faith. Believe that you can do it. Never give up. And in fact, you will achieve your dream. And the final letter in life, E. E stands for education. There's a Chinese proverb. If you plant, if you want to plan for a year, sow a seed. If you plan for a decade, plant a tree. But if you plan for a century, educate the people. You can be anything that you want to be. If you set high standards, you have integrity, and you never settle for less than the best. So I say to you, keep on trying. You learned this even back in kindergarten, that if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. There is much yet to be done. You can do it. We expect from this class great researchers, college presidents, elected officials who will change this world. And the final lead, if you're going to do all of that, is that you cannot give excuses. You cannot give excuses. Yes, there will be disappointment. Yes, you will fail. But if you look at the lives of any great person, you will find that they never gave up and they never gave excuses. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player that ever lived, highly decorated, but he also missed 9,000 shots in his career. He said, I almost lost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed it. I failed over and over again in life, but that's why I succeeded, because I made no excuses and I didn't give up. Alex Haley wrote for eight long years on his book, Roots, before it was published. Henry Ford failed five times before he founded a successful Ford Motor Company. Holland Sanders, the great secret recipe for Kentucky Fried Chicken, a oh, thousand and nine times he failed before he was successful. Thomas Edison made 1,000 unsuccessful attempts to invent the light bulb. And the list goes on and on. So I say to you, if you're going to succeed, graduates, you must not make excuses. So as you begin this journey in life, remember, L, that you must love yourself first. I, that in fact you must take on individual responsibility. It is up to you as to whether or not you will succeed. But do not forget about integrity and do not forget to imagine that future. The next letter F, faith, that substance of things that you hope for. 
and E. This is a commencement. Education, you are just beginning. Never give excuses and you will succeed. Again, congratulations to all of our graduates. We thank you for letting Alabama a and University be a part of your preparation. And we wish for each of you God's blessing as you go forward. Live life to its fullest. Thank you. We will now have another selection by our choir under the direction of Dr. Carney. from our choir under the direction of Professor Horace Carney. Would you please give our commencement speaker another warm round of applause for that excellent message.
He didn't have it in the introduction, but he just happens to be the 11th president of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, and we thank him for having the foresight to fill in under these undue circumstances. President Eugenie, members of the Board of Trustees, platform guests, before I call upon the deans of the various academic colleges to present their candidates for degrees, I would first like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the graduates who have achieved academic distinction by graduating first cum laude with a grade point average of 3.0 to 3.49. Will all of those who are graduating cum laude, would you please stand and be recognized? Now, will all students who are graduating magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.79, would you please stand and be recognized? Finally, will all students who are graduating with highest honors, summa cum laude, with a grade point average of 3.8 to 4.0, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. Now we ask the audience that you indulge us for a few minutes and comport yourself accordingly because we have a very serious acknowledgement that we would like to make. Dr. Eugenie, before all of the candidates for the degrees come forward to receive their diplomas, there's a very special presentation that I'd like to make on behalf of this prestigious university. It is a posthumous awarding of the Certificate of Educational Achievement to a student, Ms. Deandra S. Pugh, who at the time of her death was an Alabama Agricultural Mechanical University student studying to complete her bachelor's degree in communications media. Here today to accept this award on her behalf is her mother, Miss Barbara Pugh and family. Would you please come forward. The certificate reads, this is to certify that Deandra Pugh possessed an appreciation and a yearning for excellence in her educational endeavors as evidenced by her pursuit of the Bachelor of Arts degree in communications media. Her quest for scholarly achievement is recorded in the annals of Alabama A&M University and she will forever be acknowledged as a member of the Normal Life family. Be it, therefore known, be it therefore known that by authority of the Board of Trustees, the university confers the Certificate of Educational Achievement posthumously upon Deandra S. Pugh in acknowledgement of her educational accomplishments given this 28th day of 2014 by Robert Bentley Governor and Andrew Eugenie Jr., President. Thank you. President Eugene, 
Members of the Board of Trustees, platform guests, I now call upon the deans of the academic colleges to present the candidates for degrees. Okay. Provost Williams. Dean Newkirk. Based upon the recommendation of the faculty and graduate studies, I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for the graduate degree. Will the candidates please rise? Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidates for the conferring of the doctoral degree. Will the candidates for the doctoral degree please come forward for the conferring of the degree? Gete Bekele, Major Advisor, Dr. Yang Wang. Predicting breeding avian biodiversity in the upland region of northern Alabama with different statistical approaches. Tashom Gabre, Major Advisor, Dr. Wabashet Tedesi, Co-Advisor, Dr. Constance Wilson. Urban Sprawl, an expansion model for measuring, assessing, and predicting its impact on agricultural land, a case study of Huntsville, Alabama. Kiana S. Johnson, Major Advisor, Dr. Matthew Edwards, The Structural Surface Resistivity and Optical Analysis of Europium Dope Gandolinium Oxide, Thin Films Fabricated by the Soul Gel and Dip Coating Methods. Abriata Jamera Williams, Major Advisor, Dr. Govin Sharma. Detection of Rhodolinculus reniformis in a soil metagenomic pool and transcriptome analysis of Gossypium hirsutum. Will the master's degree candidates Yvonne Renee Sanderson Frankie Leon Davidson Will the master's degree candidates 
come forward to receive your diplomas. Brittany Lachey Henry. Tamika Jeanette Houston. Oge Chuku Bernadette Tassi. Travis Devorick Jones. Maria T. Maupin Carroll. Jennifer Marie Lewis. Jessica Rochelle Williams. Jasmine Danielle Davis. Kendra Dion Tatum. Lori Sue Holy. Jamie Nicole Travis. Christina Amy LaFonta. Erica Latrice Havis. Zachary Bryant Holt. Christy Adriana Cole. Deborah Lee Priest. Ethel M. Griffin. Anthony Wayne Smith. Kimberly Ann Holyfield. Afumban Sankong Okasan. Kisa Brooke Benford. Jasmine Doris Falk. Marissa Janae Copeland. Desiree Harry. Dana Rochelle Smith. Johnson Kofi Craw Arlu. Marabuchi Bonike. Michaela Laurent Ryans. Ryan Ashley Perry. Lindsay Page Weatherford. Leslie Katrina Neely. Michelle Antoinette Thompson. Whitney Nicole Walden. Kiara Lachey Jackson. Jasmine M. Champion. Rolandria Sanali Russell. Zantia Ebony Watkins. Derek Shane Pendergrass. Laura Allison Perry. Amy Ellis Biaski. Latoya Joyce Christopher. Lacey Elizabeth Taylor. Paige Marielle Satchel. Allison Christine Rivers. Alexandra Ann Rary. Mary Catherine Faye Smith. Catalyn Carol Ussery. Alyssa Marie Tonkovich. Kimberly Danielle Yates. Caitlin Nicole Allen. Megan Murphy Aldridge. Ashley Lynn Obradovich. 
Lee Ann Hutto, Shayna Morgan Jimerson, Ashley Hester Crosby, Lauren Ashley Ward, Dana Michelle Brown, Gregory Lamar Moore, Fallon Janice Johnson, Ryan Veronis Burge, Ursula Marquita Crittenden, Marlon Hugo Romo, Charve Sade Bogan, Ashley Amanda Kelly, Tiffany Crystal Kelly, Letitia Sheree Porter, Talisha Rashawn Porter. Sierra Latrice Richardson. Brandy K. Stringer. Emily Summers Holland. Desi Achim Owiti. Christina Timmy Ayono. Salida Yalet. Ingram, Bobby Janice Travis, Brandy Rose McKinney, Jamie Lee Rogers, Willie R. Fuller, Clarence Edward Morris II, Louis Marvin Graham the second. Shandell Hilliard. Eric Perez Smith. Marlon Germain McLean. Will those lips? Dean Walker. Based upon the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Agricultural, Life, and the Natural Sciences, I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas? Jarius Perkins. Nakedra Brown. Janae Devon Thomas. Marcus Mastin. Tabaris Antoine Hartsfield. Latera Coleman. Leticia Murphy. Lecondria Richardson. Terry N. James. Priyanka Patel. Ebony Denise Major. Ostavia Leanne Cintron. Megan Charmaine Good. Paris Jasmine Gibson. Angel McGuire. Bianca Rollins. Asia A. Brown. Jasmine Tiani Montgomery. Lakeisha Mariah Duffy.
Kendra Sade Coleman. Rodney Christopher Dunn, Jr. Hakika S. Hill. Brittany Michelle Hardin. Ryan Goodson. Candace Chanel Crum. Jasmine Sharmik Jackson. Michael Michael Avery Knotts. Jordan Matthew Tatum. Alexandria Lane Adams White. Manuel Antonio Laura. G. Alonzo Milton. Tremaine Shepard. Reuben O'Neill Taylor II. Charity Shawnee Jewett. Jacqueline Ann Mitchell. Harold James Shaw. Tion Taj Thomas Moore. Leticia Tangiel Durgan. Morgan Matoya Chester. Adrian Marguerite Asbury. Provost Wims. Dean Jones. Based on the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Business and Public Affairs, I am pleased to present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas? Victoria Vanessa Gross. Coranda Michelle Hayes. Jana Marie McCrary. Gabriela Hartes. Tara Holt. Chester Maurice Ayers. Kanisha Jeanine Fudge. Don Alexander Humphrey. Aaron Whitlow the third. Brittany Nicole Ross. Denise Gwendolyn Davis. Marilyn Michael. Jasmine Ellison. Christy Ann Farrell. Kedra Tamisha Shedron. Artricia Shanetta Garth. Llewellyn Mark II. Clayton Lamar Stearns II. Brandon Fitzgerald Garth. Janae Mitchell. 
Keisha Renee Hiles. Caromanda Renee Griffin. Jereen Jaron Lincoln Shields. Brianna Janice Baber. Ronnie Shanita Smith. Mercedes Antonique Crater. Miranda Elizabeth Cannon. Frederick D. Randall II. Roberto Diamond Turner. Taylor Vincent Homer. Ryan Dimitri Jackson. Provost Williams, Dean Martin, based upon the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Education, Humanities, and Behavioral Sciences, I am pleased to present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates please rise and come forward to receive your diploma? Philip Jared Moore. Dominique Cooper. Jennifer Ides Randolph. Tia N. Bailey. Jasmine Janae Neal. <laughs> Tiffany LaShawn Beasley. Eric Coleman. Ricky Denise Wright. Petra LaDon Creighton. Kavisha Naya Marks. Erica Alicia Cosby. Felicia Shantia Brown. Hanan Aisha Esther.
Damian Antoine Jenkins. Tyreen Fortora Milton. Rakia Renell Renbert. Melanie LaShawn Hill. Justin William LaCorey Pointer. Hannah A. Anderson. Karsten J. Culbertson. Jamon Artis Fairweather. Ciara I. Gallon. Merlene Maria Latortu. Justin Blake Ravazzi. Misha Strader. Tina Marie Jones. Ariel Rika Jones. Adriana Janine Roller. Dominique Michela Davis. Dejiris M. Hunt. Davian Rucker. Derek Anthony Body. Jennifer LaRuth Mill. Kuma, Christopher Simpson, Julian Blake McMillan, Devron Terrell Williams, Robert John O'Kelly II, Whitney Shanae Jackson, Ariel Simone George Dean. Raven Simone Watkins. Easter Charnay Coleman. Akila Oliver. Ashley J. Foreman. Bree Ebony Jones. Valentine Victoria Lawler. Karen Robertson. Gloria Janae Jones. Sherelle Olivia Purnell. Lakeisha Lynette Harrell. Jasmine Janice Malloy. Victoria Simone Sherrod. Marley N. Powell. Joshua Glenn Walton. Lee Allen Miller, Jr. DeMarquel Tab. Jawanza Kijon Vickers. 
Jordan Timbers Roman. Kenneth Washington, Jr. Bianca M. Campbell. Princess Coley. Nicholas Johnson. Jeremy Hines. Tiffany Nicole Montague. Provost Wins, Dean Glenn, based upon the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Engineering, Technology, and Physical Sciences, I am pleased to present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates please rise and come forward to receive their diploma? Rajan Kaka, Courtney Michelle Lee, Brendan Latricia Harper, Antoine Deontay Mordekin, Weston and Samuel Rocky Moore. Shanae Yvette King, Jeremy Guilford, Maya Elena Rudolph, Candace Lynette Rice, Byron Clark Bennett, Tiffany N. Gray. Aaron D. Elmore. Kamisha Cliche Jones. Vincent Larry. Ladarius W. Smith. Jaderi Finley. Demarcus C. Davis. Robert, Robert Daniel Wise. Darius Lockhart. Evan Jarrett Jones. Rondarius Spigler. Robert A. Miles. Joshua Arline. Jaquita Janae Hall. Brittany Siobhan Pearson. Alexis Logan Twine. Jamel A. Beverly. Mertis Jajul Scoggins. Joshua Lewis. Akima Inez Huggins. Cameron Jackson. Hernandez Cateris Dalsey. 
Brandon Marshawn Ellis, Eddie James Hardy III, Cordarius Benjamin Kidd, Brittany Alexandria Forbes, Nene Wynn. Christina Maria Kennedy. Sean Lewis. Quinteris Blackman. Giorgio O'Brien McCullough. Clayton R. Frederick. Angelisa Jasmine Thomas. Andrea Giovanna Larhan Winbush. Anthony Germain Fern. Willie Justin McCall. Justin Raphael Mead. Justin Jamar Young. DeAndre Dwight King. Cameron Augustus Finley. Yakima E. Miller. Darius Porter. Javarius A. Chandler. John Thomas Combs, Amber Davis, Philip D. Harvey, Amina Obi, Angel Denise Sumlin. Will all candidates for graduate degrees please rise? <laughs> President Eugene, Provost Williams, I am pleased to present to you these candidates for the conferring of graduate degrees. In accordance with the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama, and the Board of Trustees of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, and upon the recommendation of the faculty in graduate studies, I'm honored to confer upon you the master's degree, educational specialist degree, or doctoral degree, to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and the responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Please be seated. Now, will all candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? <laughs> President Eugene, Provost Williams, I am pleased to present to you these candidates for the conferring of the baccalaureate degree. with the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and the Board of Trustees of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am honored to confer upon you the baccalaureate degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Undergraduates, you may move your tassel to the left. 
Congratulations and be seated. You may be seated. At this time, I would ask Lieutenant Colonel Smith to please join me at the podium for the presentation of the Fall 2014 Commissionees. Colonel Smith. Sir, on behalf of the President of the United States of America, the Bulldog Battalion presents the United States Army's newest second lieutenants. Second Lieutenant Jermel A. Beverly from Anchorage, Alaska, assessed Alabama National Guard Branch Signal Corps. Second Lieutenant Jaquita J. Hall from Houston, Texas, assessed active duty branch signal corps. Second Lieutenant Hakika Shuri Hill from Indianapolis, Indiana, assessed United States Army Reserve Branch Medical Services. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Jennifer L. Mills from Houston, Texas, assessed active duty Branch Adjutant General. Second Lieutenant Estee M. Robinson from Montgomery, Alabama, assessed active duty branch finance, branch detail to Chemical Corps. We congratulate our newly commissioned officers and we pray God's blessing upon them as they serve our nation. We will ask that all persons currently or those who have served in the armed services of the United States of America please stand and let us thank you for your service. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure of presenting Mr. Tim McAnally, the president of the Alabama a and University National Alumni Association, who will, by declaration, induct the class of fall 2014 in the association. Mr. McAnally. Will all graduates please rise? On behalf of the National Alumni Association Incorporated, I now declare you to be active members of the Alabama A&M University Alumni Association with all the rights, privileges, obligations associated with membership. You will now receive the degree. You may be seated. Again, congratulations to the graduates of 2014. My charge to you as you go forward is to remember 
Remember what you have learned here at Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, that you did not do it alone. We charge you to remember this university, but we charge you to do so by giving back. We charge you to be great ambassadors for Alabama a and University. But above all, we charge you in life to remember that service is sovereignty. Again, congratulations. At this time, I'd like to recognize our special guests before we end this commencement. We are pleased to have with us the members of our Board of Trustees. I will ask that they stand as I call their names. Trustee Andre Taylor, Trustee Chris Robinson, Trustee Dr. Jerome Williams, Trustee Dr. Jeanette Jones, and Trustee Jasmine Story. Thank you. The First Lady extends to each of you congratulations and her regrets for being unable to join you today. We want to thank our commencement marshals, our ushers, and other staff members that assisted. Thanks to our band, thanks to our choir for the wonderful job that you did this morning. And we certainly want to recognize the very best students that exist anywhere in this nation, the students of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, all of our students. Thank you. And finally, we want to extend our appreciation to all of the family and friends who are with us this morning. We will ask that our graduates please stand and appropriately thank your family members, your fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, and others who have helped you through this journey. Thank you very much. We will ask that each would now stand for the retiring of the colors. Please remain standing for the university hymn, benediction, and the recessional. Again, we ask all men to remove your hats and all mortar boards.
but never your presence. As we head back into the highways and the byways of life, to the hustle and the bustle, to the celebrations, guide us, keep us, protect us. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, dominion, majesty, power, both now and forevermore. And all the people of God said, Amen. Amen.